How's it going YouTube? My name is Ari and welcome to Blue Lion Finance, a channel dedicated to investing in my personal journey to amassing $100,000 within my Vanguard brokerage account. As of right now, it seems that the market cannot escape this market volatility. My account is sitting at $75,845.71. That is down just from my last video on Monday. Investors out there seem to be worried about inflation, rightfully so. And then of course, investors are on their toes about earnings season. However, my advisory to all of you out there is if you are a long-term investor doubling down on high quality stock opportunities, then these are certainly the days to double down on those investments. And of course, that leads me right into today's video in which I wanna talk about two stock opportunities that are certainly undervalued, but they often go head to head and they seem to be the talk of YouTube as we speak. So I wanna get into those two stock opportunities being Verizon and AT&T, a video you will not wanna miss out on. Of course, before we dive in, go ahead, tap on that thumbs up button as it greatly helps me out in growing the Blue Lion Finance channel and getting the word out there. Most importantly, if you haven't already subscribed, go ahead, tap on that subscribe button for me. I not only really want all of you along this journey with me, but want every single one of you with the opportunity to take advantage of the One Hope Wines $50 gift card giveaway in which the moment this channel crosses 1,000 subscribers, I'm gonna be sending one lucky winner that gift card to pick out the wine of their choice. So YouTube, cheers to that. Now with that out of the way, let's go ahead and dive right in. So before I go any further in breaking down Verizon and AT&T and getting into which opportunity I personally think is best, at least for the near term, I wanna go ahead and get into a little bit of a history lesson because I found this to be absolutely fascinating and I wanna share it with you and that both Verizon and AT&T actually originate back to the Bell Telephone Company. Now, during the 1800s, we had antitrust regulators wanting to break down this behemoth of a company, and that is exactly what happened, breaking it into the baby bells. Now, Atlantic Bell ultimately became Verizon, whereas Southwestern Bell inevitably then became AT&T. Now, the moment this official split had occurred and Verizon was founded, AT&T was founded, we had investors doubling down on these two companies and finding them to be incredibly reliable stock opportunities to get invested in, ultimately becoming dividend investments. Now, over the years, both of these companies would make monumental mistakes. It would only be recognized in hindsight. However, it led us exactly to where we are today. And now, let's get started with talking about Verizon, ticker symbol VZ. Now, Verizon officially founded back in 1983 and previously shared Verizon Wireless with a company known as Vodafone. But in 2014, they went ahead to buy out Vodafone outright for $130 billion which of course caused their debt levels to soar. Then we find them in 2015 aggressively buying out our beloved AOL for $4.4 billion. And then a couple years later in 2017, for $4.5 billion, they bought assets of Yahoo. This is all to say that they were aggressively beginning to double down on media and advertising online. However, after quickly realizing that they were pretty niche and wanted to aggressively just double down on being a wireless carrier, they sold 90% of all of those assets to Apollo Global Management and then they began aggressively making moves to become the dominant market player within the wireless carrier space. Now, in just going back a few years to 2018, we can see that Verizon brought in a net revenue of $15.53 billion. In 2019, they brought in net revenue of $19.27 billion, and in 2020, brought in $17.8 billion dollars, all translating to pretty healthy stock growth over the long run. And as of right now, we can see that they're trading for around $51 per share. However, analysts only have expectations that Verizon's gonna continue to grow at a healthy rate at a median stock share price of $60 per share and a high stock share price of $68 per share. And until it actually gets to those stock share prices, we can kick back and relax because Verizon has a nice dividend coming in at a dividend yield of 4.81%. Now, on the other hand, we have AT&T, ticker symbol T, officially being founded in 1983 as well. AT&T, very similarly to Verizon, went on a bit of a buying spree, and their first big purchase was of DirecTV for 
for $49 billion before moving on to buying licensing from Spectrum for $18 billion. And last but not least, their big investment of Time Warner for $85 billion, all of which would cause their debt levels to skyrocket. And in hindsight, of course, be a giant mistake because now looking back, the world of course switched from pay TV to streaming services, which ultimately killed, I mean crushed AT&T, which all led to their big 2020 decision to merge Time Warner and Discovery, which I personally believe was a wise move. However, time is going to take time for AT&T to get back on that horse and continue to move forward in a healthy direction. Now, all the proof we need is actually in their net revenue over the last few years. And taking a look at those numbers, we can see that in 2018, they brought in $19.37 billion. Moving into 2019, we can see that they brought in $13.9 billion. And then in 2020, they actually had a net loss of negative $5.18 billion. And that is exactly the damage bad investments will cause on a company that was doing so well. We can see it all reflected in their stock share prices. Prior to the pandemic, they were trading for around $45 per share, whereas right now they're trading for around $25 per share. And while analysts certainly have expectations that over time, AT&T is gonna grow, I certainly believe time is gonna take time. Analysts do foresee AT&T's stock share price growing at a median share price of $31.50 and a high stock share price of $37. As of right now, that dividend has yet to be cut, so it is sitting at 7.77%, but mid-2022, that dividend is gonna be slashed and it should drop down to around three to 4%. So now this all leads me to question, what exactly is the best investment for you to make between Verizon and AT&T and my Money is on, of course, Verizon. Just for the interim, at least, I do believe in the longer term, perhaps AT&T may be a wise investment as they truly begin to get back to basics and doubling down on being a wireless carrier. However, again, it's gonna take time for AT&T to get back to that level of being a competitive player in the arena with Verizon, especially because now T-Mobile, after their merger with Sprint, took second place as America's largest wireless carrier just behind Verizon. Now, most importantly to note is that Verizon remains America's largest wireless carrier and has certainly been establishing itself as a major 5G player. Now, when it comes to AT&T reestablishing itself, it's gonna take a lot of money establishing that 5G network, as well as a lot of advertising to play catch up. Now, most importantly, is just looking maybe five to 10 years down the road. Could all of this change and AT&T does a standout job? Absolutely, but hey, as of right now, I certainly foresee Verizon being the better play. Now, I'd love to know your opinion. Drop those comments below. Let me know if you are Verizon or AT&T. If you haven't already, go ahead, tap that thumbs up button and help me grow the Blue Lion Finance channel. Most importantly, go ahead, tap on that subscribe button while you're at it because I'd love to have you along this journey with me. Now, YouTube, until the next video, I will see you all there.